Hello aquaponics growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. My aim is to help you to grow sustainable, healthy and tasty food in your own backyards thanks to aquaponics. Today I would like to respond to a question that I receive very often which is how long should I run the water pump for in my aquaponics setup? So what is the purpose of a water pump? So in aquaponics we are working in a whole ecosystem and the water pump is basically the heart of your ecosystem. So the, the water pump is going to allow the water to go from the fish tank to the grow bed and then uh, you're going to have a, a system that is going to allow the water to go back into the fish tank. So it's a, it's a loop and it's exactly the same thing as your heart in your, in your, in your body. It's going to allow the blood to circulate everywhere. And just by saying that, you understand that obviously you, you, your heart is pumping all the time, 24-7, right? And in aquaponics, what I recommend is to do exactly the same thing. If you want the system to be very efficient and to work very well, my recommendation is to leave it 24-7. There are different reasons why. Uh, the first one is that when we're going to design our setup and when we're going to select the pump, we're going to select the pump that is very well adapted to the setup. We are not going to put a pump that is too big. We're going to, pump, we're going to put a pump that is just able to fulfill the need of our aquaponic setup and that is not going to be over consuming in terms of power consumption. So it's going to be a very limited, very small size pump, but this pump is going to work 24 seven. So uh, you know that, for example, any, any movement, any mechanical movement, if it's circulating, if it's running 24 seven, the movement is regular. But if you do on, off, on, off, Every time you turn it on, it's going to create this specific movement. It's going to start again, and it's going to use, um, it's going to basically, yeah, use the pump. So you're going to decrease the lifetime of your water pump. So first, having a, a water pump that is going to start and stop is going to decrease the lifetime of your water pump. And when you do that, obviously, you're going to increase the, the expense that are linked to the aquaponic setup, linked to your projects. Uh, because obviously if you need to renew the pump, it's a, it's a cost for you in terms of money, but it's also a cost for the environment because you need to have people who create more things. Most of the time it generates plastic. Uh, anyway, it has a, an impact on the environment. So having a, work, a pump that works 24-7 is going gonna, is gonna to last longer than a pump that it goes on and off several times per day. But if I run my pump 24-7, I'm going to use too much electricity, right? If I turn my pump on and off, I'm going to do some electric savings, right? A lot of people make this very, very basic mistake, is that they basically put a big water pump and then they think, OK, I got a big water pump, so I don't need to run it all the time. I can just put, turn it on and off. So they put a timer on the pump uh, because they think the pump is too big for, for the setup. So I think it's way, way better to have a small pump at the beginning on the design of the setup and therefore the pump is adapted to run 24 7 it's just going to move the, the quantity of water needed but no more okay so how do i know the pump size adapted to my aquaponic setup so if you are wondering what size pump is the best adapted to your aquaponic setup just download the guide from the description of this video just below the free guide to build your own aquaponic setup in the best condition uh, this guide is going to take you through the concept, the design of an aquaponic setup, but also um, the, the, all the ratio to respect all the limits of aquaponics and how to select uh, the good size pump for your own aquaponic setup. And that's completely free. So select the guide and in this case, you know exactly what size pump you should have. But to respond to the question that we, we have today is, yes, you should run your pump 24-7. Uh, in an aquaponic setup if you are using a bell siphon. Now, if you are using a timer system, so a bell siphon can be a bit technical to, to build. I have a special training about it. But if you don't want to bother doing a bell siphon, you can work a uh, flood and drain system thanks to a timer system. And in this case, yes, because you put your pump on a timer, it's going to go on and off uh, maybe every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes whatever several times per hour your pump is going to start on and off unfortunately when you do that you decrease the lifetime of your pump so that's not what i recommend but that's one option that you can follow 
But what I really recommend is to work with a Bell siphon and to work on the pump 24-7. I hope you enjoyed this very simple video today. Uh, but I think it was important to make a video for this specific question because I receive it very often. So here you are. And if you have any question, please ask it in the description of the video just below on the comment section. Uh, you're going you're gonna to be able to ask me any question. And I promise you, I check the questions very often. So I'm going to respond to you uh, in a reasonable time frame. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because I release one new video every week. So a, a new aquaponics trick to help you to manage your aquaponics setup in the best condition. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon. And I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop.